In 2017, there were 50.7 million children of school age in the U.S., and one out of 69 were diagnosed with autism. While the CDC reported an increase in autism in 2018 to one out of 59, we still don't know what leads to the condition and what happens to the child as life goes beyond school age. In the U.S., most parents ask, what will happen to my child when the yellow bus stops coming? Services and treatments taper off beyond school age, and work employment are scarce for individuals with autism. The main concern of their parents is, who will care for them when I die? Where will he go? Who will emotionally support her? Will they be abused? A staggering number of young adults with autism live without any hope to be embraced by our society. The descriptions of autism as a mental illness, a social deficit, a lack of empathy, or a mind that cannot theorize about others' behaviors and actions left us with a deficit model that cannot possibly help us see the person's inherent predispositions and capabilities. From early childhood, this person is told what to do and how to do it in a certain way, without opportunity to spontaneously develop autonomy and volitional control over decisions and actions. We need to change this model and build one that empowers the child with autism so that child becomes an adult who is an integral part of our workforce. The first thing we need to do is shift the public perception that autism is just a social or cognitive issue. We propose to redefine autism as a condition that has a number of core problems with the nervous systems. Our nervous systems transmit information about pain and temperature, but also about touch, pressure, and self-generated movements. The nerves throughout the body inform our brains on our bodily positions and motions. If there is a problem with the processes underlying such information highway, the brain cannot control the body in motion because it does not have the proper feedback. The person then loses autonomy over the actions and decisions that make up behaviors, including especially those in the social realm. While the person may be in pain or facing numbness, Others may perceive his or her social interaction as mindless and socially inadequate. Perhaps if the public knew the true underlying medical issues of autism spectrum disorders, the perception of autism as a mental problem would change, and we would create new programs with medical insurance coverage to help the autistic individual be an integral part of our society. Retroactive research can be the answer by documenting and characterizing the trajectory of those who were diagnosed with autism 15 years ago, we can gain insights into this lifelong condition. We can learn about the interventions that failed to promote autonomy, functional independence, and self-sufficiency in those who received intensive treatments without scientific proof of their effectiveness. By physically measuring and quantifying the outcomes of treatments, we can learn about critical points of transitions from childhood to young adulthood and help the millions of people affected by autism increase their autonomy, promote their sense of agency, and overall, raise their quality of life.